Hey YouTube, it's the test lead. And today we're talking about data-driven testing. In today's world, testing your software with different inputs and scenarios is very important. And make sure that your software is versatile and can actually handle a real customer's behaviors. In this video, we're gonna dive deeper into what is data-driven testing and the benefits of it. If you've never heard this concept, don't worry. I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. Just stay with me. If you're new to my channel, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you're not new, I checked my metrics. Most of you guys just freeload and watch. If you're gonna watch, at least subscribe so I get the benefit. Now back to the video. So first and most importantly, what is data-driven testing? Think of data-driven testing as having the ability to write a test once and then associate different values and input for that same test. And then you run that test over and over with the different values. Me, I'm a big analogy person. Think about being a chef for your family. You can have the same recipe, but use different ingredients to get the same end result. And see, hey, does my family still like this? Do they hate this? The same thing applies to our testing. We have our test and the structure of our test, but we're adding different ingredients to see if this behavior is enacted on, or this test data. If the user puts a five or a 10, does our program or software still behave as expected? So simply put, think of data-driven testing as writing one test script, but instead of hard coding the test data for that test, we're gonna pass it in. And by having a test that's dynamic like this, we can account for different input values and different customer behaviors. And make sure that when a customer puts in this value, are we still getting our expected response? So now let's talk about how data-driven testing actually works. Imagine that you're testing the login functionality for a website. Usually you will have, okay, I have my test here. I'm gonna put a valid username in and a valid password and press login, which is pretty cool, pretty standard. However, with data-driven testing, you can expand a scenario by incorporating various combinations of usernames and passwords. This means that you could write a single test script that loops through a list of inputs attempting to log in with each set of credentials. For example, let's say your test had this list of usernames and passwords. Your test script could run the same login process using each of these sets of data, helping you to identify if any inconsistencies or errors that might occur under different scenarios. So now that you know what data-driven testing is, let's talk about some of the benefits of using data-driven testing. Comprehensive coverage. Data-driven testing allows you to explore a wide range of scenarios in a single test run. This results in a more comprehensive coverage of the application's behavior and functionality. Efficiency. By running multiple tests with different data inputs using a single script, you save time and resources. This efficiency is particularly useful when dealing with repetitive tasks. Error identification. Different sets of input data can expose various edge cases and potential bugs that might go unnoticed during traditional testing. Scalability. As your application evolves, you can easily incorporate new data sets into your existing test scripts, making it adaptable to changes. So now you have all this information. Let's talk about how to actually implement this into your testing. First, identify your test data. Determine the input parameters and the range of values that you want to test. This could be anything from login credentials to form inputs. 
Next, create your test script. Write a test script that incorporates a loop structure to iterate through your test data. Execute your test. Run the script and it will execute the same test steps with each set of input data. If you get any value from this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. Now back to the video. And finally, analyze your results. Examine the results to identify patterns and consistencies or errors that arise from different data sets. Now, let's bring it all together. Data-driven testing, or DDT, is a dynamic approach to software testing. By creating a test script capable of running multiple tests with diverse input data, you unlock a more comprehensive understanding of your application's behavior. If you need help on your QA journey, please check out my book, QA Must Know Vocabulary, as well as my course, The Manual QA Academy. I will also be coming out with the Automation QA Academy early next year. So subscribe to my email list, that way you get it first at a discounted price. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. And most importantly, don't forget this, learn something new today.